Snake, out of all the meta characters, you're the best like zoner slash setup character. Mm. Uh, this character just has so much tools. You you have all your zoning tools. Your your main zoning tool being grenade is a frame one option, so you can also combo break with it. You have a amazing dash attack for someone like a zoner. Right. Your only biggest weakness is like how slow you are on the ground and how slow you are in the air. Combined with just his disadvantage, you know, like obviously he still has a decent amount of mix-ups in my opinion. Even because like most for the most part, snakes will just double jump cipher, like right. just like how we see here. Yeah. But you have beer verse at, on neutral B and down B, so you still have a decent amount of mix-ups. So. And even then, he's not like that slow either, you know. Like he's still right. like decently fast, especially with that dash attack burst option. You right, know? the dash attack propels him so far forward, and he has such a low silhouette when he does it. Right. It's it's such a great way to like top off a kit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Snake, obviously a very prevalent character in all levels of play. We see see a lot of Snakes in top eights. We see a lot of Snakes, you know, in the higher and mid-levels, even for, like, some regional events. So, very prevalent character in the middle game. Oh, yeah. Definitely one of those characters that, like, if you're looking for, like, a top five, Snake, I would say, would be one of them. You know, I, yeah. I think he's, like, top three. Yeah, I definitely have Snake in my top five. Yeah. And he also has, like, a humongous standing grab range. He has a bigger standing grab range than Pikachu and Pichu. Just to put it in perspective mm -hmm. for you guys that know how irritatingly big that standing grab range is. Right? And you know what? I feel like unlike other characters who like kind of struggle with getting that kill like at higher percents, you know, like the law zoners, I feel like if they don't get their set up, you know, they, they can just struggle to get kills. Like I know Belmont suffer from that a lot. Now, if you're smart, if you avoid the the holy water, you, you're not dying to like 200 percent you know, oh, yeah. but Snake is just like, I grabbed you at like 150, you're dead because I have a command grab or I have a uh, guaranteed follow up off of down throw. Oh yeah, that, that is silly. Plus we got Nikita as well, which is going to be a very hard thing for the Belmonts to uh, maneuver around because essentially they have to tether. So like you can kind of like hang the Nikita like by the ledge and they got to reel up eventually, right? Yeah. It's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna have to have see some tricky recoveries here, but even um, even when AC died from that up B off the top, that was really bad. Yeah, like Snake definitely should have lived that, but he probably just did it so quick he didn't expect it, kind of thing. I mean, he was like at decently high percent if I recall, so he probably wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, and I mean, Stadium is a little lower on the ceiling, but yeah, who knows? And yet again, you know what? That's the one thing that's kind of bad about Makita is that it is relatively slow when you try to like change directions so unless you're like right near the ledge like with Nikita you're not going to be able to get that like zooming around the ledge of the stage to snipe out Belmonts but here we go this is what I was talking about you know like and yet again like oh, we out I think you tried it down here with Nikita oh yeah I mean at that point like you have to Nikita you have to hit the Nikita somehow you know yeah. and you would have got the bounce up too yeah so definitely not a bad idea I mean, the only alternative is just tether to ledge, but at that point, Nikita was primed and ready to just snipe that out. Exactly, yeah. He already had it set up to the point where it's like if he tethered and reeled up, it was, it was a wrap. So we the four tilt punish here. Some left the down B. Oh, and the dash attack as well. Look at all that pressure he put into that area. But Nitro able to find his way on stage and also get the tipper forward smash. You know, that's like such good play on Nitro, uh, knowing that like, okay, he's probably gonna drop shield right here. So that's my one opportunity to throw out a smash attack. Yeah. And they going right into these, uh, all these holy waters. Isn't it better to actually go uh, Simon in his magic or something? Like I, I know there's different uh, properties for the, uh, the holy water. I mean, you could argue that because the holy water from Simon is actual fire, fire it blows up the, the grenades a little bit sooner, but then again, like it may blow it up sooner, but at the same time, that just gives Snake another opportunity to pull it out again, you know? Okay, yeah. So I know when I talked to Nitro about this, like, would you ever go Simon the matchup? He said, nah, because overall, the it would just ruin with his like pacing of the match if he wasn't like expecting it to blow up and it all of a sudden blew up in his face, you know? Yeah, because you know, Simon and Rick are so different. They're not. I mean, they're not, but it's one of those things where, it's, like, it's the aesthetics, right? You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look good, right? Not even that, but it's just like in that one case where, like, the matchup, like, it might actually matter. If you're not expecting it, like, that might totally like screw up whatever plan you had in your mind. You might really suffer for it, you know, just yeah. because you weren't expecting it. All right, so very intense last talk, last hit situation here. Gets the tech chase off yeah. the down throw. That up tilt coming out, I believe, at frame like five or six, very, very quick. Very, very potent. And takes up a lot of area. Oh my god, yeah. And it's very I'm, strong. Dude, it scoops up from the bottom of like below stage almost to like 
up and around in front, and then up above him. It's like one of the best up tilts in the game. Yeah, for sure. So AC going to go ahead and take that game one, but was very, very close. And I, I like, I feel like Snake should win this matchup, but I know there's a, uh, there's some, there's some characters that can give Snake a run for his money. You know what I mean? Like if I can definitely see it being difficult if Snake doesn't have the lead, you know. And then this is, this is definitely one of those matchups where having the lead dictates the matchup. So I feel like it's even. It's even, but like it's, it's on the Snake to to make a mistake. Okay. But we have seen Nitro opting for the Joker. Um, throughout tonight, so uh, lost game one. I, I don't think it was such a stomp that it like justifies a switch. But I mean, I, I think for this po at this point, Nitro is trying to figure also trying to figure out like when he's starting to incorporate secondaries like Joker. So right. he's got to kind of flesh out when he wants to use him and when he doesn't. Right. And definitely, I feel like Joker would do a lot better in the matchup. You know, can definitely. You know, abuse grenades almost. Just be like, okay, that's free Rebel Star if I want. And I have a disjoint with my little dagger. So, yet again, I can avoid blowing up the grenade like sometimes that other characters might struggle with. Yeah, exactly. And we even see these little short hop falling guns as well. Um, and the down gun is such a good option in that disadvantage state against Snake. When Snake is definitely a character that has such an amazing up to like on the juggles, he wants to get underneath you, he wants to set up these grenades and just anti air you with all his different options. Oh, double, triple B, B reverse there. But right now, he's just trying to avoid this uh, Arsene right now. Nitro is buffed up. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I think he blew himself up by accident, you know, not realizing that. It was already down. Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. But Arsene is leaving the party. But, I, I mean, the kill, the stock was taken, right? Yep. And it's pretty much the main thing that you want to use Arsene for. I mean, Arsene did his job. Like, now it's up to Joker to kind of, like, extend the lead. Yeah, exactly. And look at these down gun approaches. So, so safe. Especially against a character like Snake. Ooh, that, that barely killed. Yeah, dang. Should have down gun, man. <laughs> okay. Yet again, oh, trying to chase him. Yet again, I feel like Joker's, like, one of the very few characters that might be able to actually chase Snake down in the air that high. Dude, yeah, if you're not in the air and you do the, the grappling hook, like if you're on a platform or something, or even on, on the ground, you can just straight grab him out of the cypher. Right. So, I mean, it's not like crazy, but like that's, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good tool to have against Snake. Who, unfortunately, holding uh, Rebel's Guard a little bit too long and is going to get punished with it. But you know what? He's definitely keeping this neutral alive and well in his favor. And you just see how safe all these decisions coming out from Metro are. The, uh, a lot of the down guns are perfectly safe. Oh man, we got an offstage situation. Up we go with Snake here. Can he catch the landing? Yeah. And I like that, you know, trying to catch the landing right there. But you know what? You're like, okay, I see you air dodge. I still have enough time to get a grab and punish you there. Yeah, and this side B is going to be really good, even if Nitro doesn't really want to commit. But there's the up smash catch on the landing. Read the B reverse. And even, he didn't even, like, the grenade got pulled, but he didn't hit the grenade. Right. So really, really great spacing. Essentially, you want to hit Snake's feet. But like you don't want to hit like the his, body, uh, his torso, right? Yeah. Because that's where the the grenade is pretty much right by his waist when he pulls it. Ooh, tried going for the roll read, but not going to find it, and instead gets punished by the get up attack. But you know, I, I feel like he's almost making it back at this point. He just needs that like one solid like read at this point. Yeah, but he's, it, it looks like he's going to have to deal with another Arsen, which is uh, very very scary here, unless he close out the stock right now. But who Nitro is still keeping the pressure on, and there's that grappling hook on the, the landing, just such a great option. And yet again, he's got him off stage. You know, he's at 80% almost. So yet again, all he needs is for Arsene to come out any second now to just get that bear off stage and uh, end the game. Yeah, at this point, yeah, you, you just want to play safe with Nitro because you don't want, you want to play with this Arsene. Right. Even if, like, even if he's forced to use something to get rid of it, like, as long as you get value from Narsen, even if it's just damage, you don't really necessarily get the stock, have to get the stock, but if you do, which it looks like he very might, so. I mean, 140%, you know, yet again, I feel like at this point, all he needs is just that, like, one little conversion. You know, he got him off stage. You no, know, he managed to live through Arsen, but you know what, 150% and still has another stock to deal with. I feel like, unless he gets one of those crazy, like, back throw, fair, like, spikes at zero, you know, he's not going to be able to bring this stock back in time. Oh, that's that's a snake classic. Ooh, and Ooh. Yeah, that's the other thing that snake can't really do in the matchup because he can just rebel guards the Nikita. Oh man, this is this is a big deal right now. Oh, and unfortunately, air dodges a little bit too 
too far away and gonna sink to his doom. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that was an SD, but it was looking pretty grim. Another okay. Arsene was about to come out too, oh, yeah. which is like, I can't get hit by anything. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, at that point, like Tetrakarn and Makarakarn are up, so if you throw out like a grenade, and it gets reflected back at you, you know, with that reflect damage, it probably would have killed too. Yeah, exactly. Or even getting hit by like something like forward tilt. Mm. But it looks like we got a counter pick war going on. It's 1-1 one, one a pop here. And now we have the Meta Knight coming out from AC, a character that uh, brought AC a ton of success in Smash 4. It's pretty much the character that got him uh, ranked. He also had the Falco as well. Um, right. And I, by no means I'm saying is he, was he carried, but this was the character that, you know, he used to get a lot of his wins and, you know, really made his come up in Smash 4. Right. You know, I feel like we don't see a whole lot of Meta Knights nowadays. You know, I feel like their, their ladder combo got slightly nerfed. You know, you can still do it, but it's a lot stricter in this game. And I don't know, like, a lot of people... I don't know why they, they dropped Meta Knight. I feel like he's still like an amazing character. He can get still like stupid early killed with side B and neutral B. You think he's amazing? I I think I don't think very highly of the character. Mm. Um, he still has like matchups where he can be really good, but just overall I just feel like he's like high like top of mid tier. Mm. That that's where I personally put him, but uh yeah, it's just hard. There's not a crazy amount of like super amazing top level players playing them. Right. So it's really hard to be like, well, where is Meta Knight really, right? Yeah. I mean, definitely Meta Knight, I feel like he has, he, he's like the Shulk of this game, you know? The like potential tier the, list? The potential tier list, yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, like definitely has a lot of tools to do really well. Yeah. But just kind of struggles a little bit against like the very, very top tiers. And so when you struggle against the top, meta tiers like you're you're gonna fall down the tier list oh yeah for sure it's, it's there's definitely matchups where i'm like you know there's he has five jumps very great hitboxes to throw off stage like nair and dare he definitely can edge guard a lot of characters but it can be hard and there it is the rebels guard and man that means uh arsene's gonna come out a little earlier to play look who's, hit, look who's at the party man well, you know what? I mean, Meta Knight does have a little bit more speed, so you can definitely force Joker to, you know, respect his uh, attacks a little bit better, you know, make him uh, wary of Rebel's Guard. But yet again, that's what I was talking about earlier, you know, just one more. If you got that, like, a little bit closer to the uh, right. center stage, or, or not center stage, like, like towards the last zone, he might have been able to kill with that below, like, 60. Yeah, and I feel like with Meta Knight, like, his ladder combos aren't as guaranteed anymore, but you can still, if you, like, read your opponent's DI or you just react to the DI very, very well, you can still get some of these ladder combos that'll kill at, you know, 50, 70 percent, right? You know, you still have an amazing, like, up B out of shield, too. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, especially yeah. the grounded version. The grounded version kills, like, below 100, I think. Oh, yeah, and it, like, scoops from so far. Up B's out of shield very, very quick. Their up B's out of shield are pretty much the quickest option. And wow, catching them with the down smash. Tekken in place. That will be the stock nitro. And right now, AC's counter pick looking like it's working out. Oh, yeah. I mean, that down smash is definitely, like, one of his best moves because it, it just comes out so fast, and it actually kills in this game. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a meme in Smash 4. It was definitely broken in Brawl. Like, yeah. super broken. And I feel like now is like a happy in between middle. Yeah, where like yeah. it's good, but it is not like stupid busted. But like it's still like a, one of his better smash attacks. And oh, yet again, the nair wow. at the ledge, you know, the, doesn't matter if you're Arsene or with the grappling hook. Like you are not getting past all those active hitboxes. Yeah, at least with the grappling hook, you can kind of like wait there after you grab grab right. it. You know, there's a little right. bit more mix-ups. Um, I mean, but I feel like at that point, Meta Knight would just fast fall it because he knows that like if you're gonna right. grapple hook, you you would hang down low like right below it. Right. It just it just forces the Meta Knight to be playing more on point as to where like fly, you definitely can just like react like hang right. down there and be like oh you upbeat like now it's my turn my turn to nair. Oh thing. yeah. But uh, great stuff nonetheless. Uh, I mean, we talked about it, right? AC abusing the fact that he can be off stage, you know, go really hard. And he can definitely do that in this matchup, too. The uh, Belmont's not the greatest recovery in the game. Right. I, I mean, definitely think it's better than, a, than a, what like more, a lot of people give it credit for. Because there's a bunch of different angles you can latch the ledge. But it's obviously, it's still not great. Oh, yeah. I mean, Men and I, all he needs is that one hit off stage. And, uh, you know, Belmont's are dead. And unlike other characters, like, he can actually go off stage and, like, kind of hover around that dead zone, like, really well. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cross on the comeback here. So AC up 2-1. A 
Oh, trying to get this offstage situation. Oh, the bear. I wonder if he fell down with Nair instead, maybe. But yeah, that, that was a uh, aggressive edge guard. But I mean, this is, this is what Meta Knight's going to be looking for in this matchup. He wants to get these stocks very, very early. Ooh, and I, I thought he would pull the trigger there. But you know what? Kind of respect he came in. Probably for the best right there, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is that dimensional cave mix up. And that's going to be such a great way, or at least a great mix up to get off the ledge because. Belmont's for sure their their strongest thing in this game is how strong their ledge trapping is. And I feel like with multiple jumps, it can be a little harder to ledge trap Meta Knight, especially with that down B mix up as well. Right. But I mean, you know, Nitro looking very strong in the matchup. You know, I feel like AC is just kind of find a uh, struggle to just break that zone. But, you know, get up attack or, or not get up attack, a jab at the ledge, you know, kind of caught Belmont's off guard with that. Down throw. Oh, tried to slash him up, maybe try to catch some kind of air dodge. Oh, wow, we grab. Oh, I, I like the attempt there. It it would have killed if it connected, but unfortunately the bottle was just in the way and just gets sniped out by that bear too. Yeah, such a safe tool for the Belmont. You gotta make obviously it's hard to establish the space. That's that's the hard part, but um, cause AC definitely trying to keep it close and with a very quick character like Meta Knight. Ooh, no tech, but uh, AC thought he was gonna tech roll in. All right. Oh, there's that Nair we were talking about. Just barely missing it, kind of fanned it out a little too far. And again, no, I like that dimensional cape to just avoid the ledge the setup, but the dash attack is gonna be punished. And yet again, that's probably like Belmont's worst move is that dash attack. Yeah. Actually, I lied. It's jab. It's jab, and then it's dash attack. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, and it, it's not a horrible dash attack, but definitely very high committal. Right. Um, definitely not a snake dash attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That doesn't cross the field anymore. And that's. He definitely like can, it. but, like, oh, my God. The, the so little amount of him. I, like, you see, he tried to grab it, but he couldn't. Yeah. That was. I did not know it had that little end line there. Oh, gonna catch that whip punish. Oh, I like the delayed up airs as well. That made it very true. Uh, very good counter action on that uh, DI there. Coming off the Nitro. And yet again, you know, Nitro's setting up the, the wall of solitude right here. So it's up to AC to break it. But, you know, we're not going to be able to find it the cross up in time. Dude, I, th that forward smash didn't even look like it tippered. Like, it, definitely, it definitely didn't tipper. I feel and like. it still killed, right? Yeah. Like, that's how strong that move is. Okay, no tech, but oh, there's the back here. Yep. You're done. Yep. You know, that's the other thing that Men and I can do in the matchup is that that upbeat by ledge, because it's such an active hitbox that Belmont right, tries right. to tether to it, and like he's just going to hit by the upbeat. And then, like, if you tech it, then that's a free back air. If you don't tech it, you die. Yeah, exactly. And that that's such a good setup because the Belmonts want to, like, tether and reel themselves up, right? Right. So just being able to, like, control that area with the upbeat is so, so good. Right. Last talk of peace here. This AC Meta Knight doing really well. Can he close it out? He'll have the counter pick. Are we going to see a ladder off the top? Yes, oh, we yeah. are. Wow. You know what? And I said it earlier, like, ladder is harder to do in this game, but it's still there. And you know what? AC takes it with a 3-1. Yeah, what a way to end off the set there. And it looks, oh, yo, are we going to get Meta Knight dittos? I, I, yeah.